Hi, welcome to our daily encounter. For those who don't know, uh, my wife and I are parents of five children. And even though all five of them are past the, the infant and the baby stage, uh, we can remember back and, re and think about the difficulties we had in trying to feed them sometimes. You know, there's a lot of difficult things we encounter here on this earth. And one of those difficult things is trying to feed a baby that doesn't want to get fed. They will turn their, their head away from you, their face away from you. They will clamp their mouth shut. And they will do whatever it takes to keep you from putting that spoonful of goodness into their mouth. And as a parent, there's basically two things that you need for the child to do in order for you to be able to feed them. One, you need them to turn their face towards you. And secondly, you need them to open their mouth. If you can get the child to do those two things, you can feed them and nourish them and take care of them. I really love Psalm 81 and verse 10, where the Lord is speaking to his people and he says, Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it, he says. Perhaps the Lord has in mind a baby chick. If you've watched any nature shows uh, with, with uh, baby chicks in it, you'll see that you know, they, can't, they can't see where their mother is, but they've got their, their mouths up and their mouths open, waiting to receive food from their mother. And the Lord is saying, if you will open up your mouth, I will fill it. I will fill you up with good things. But many times we miss out on that because we are like the stubborn child who's got his face turned away and his mouth clamped shut. And many times we, we may not even do it on purpose. We may not intentionally be turning our face away from the Lord. But because we're so distracted by all the things going on around us. So distracted by the TV. So distracted by entertainment. So distracted by our hobbies. So distracted by our career. Maybe our education. Maybe our financial situation. We, we're always we always have our face turned towards this world and the things of this world and the people of this world. When what we really need to do is turn our faces to the Lord and open up our mouths, so to speak, so that the Lord can fill us with what He wants us to what He wants to fill us with. He wants to to nurture us. He wants to nourish us. He wants to uh, supply us with life and he wants to uh, supply us with himself and, and fill us with himself but so many times we've got our mouth clamped shut and our head turned we need to have our not only our face turned to the Lord but we need to have our heart turned to the Lord and we need to have our heart open to the Lord we need to have our lives open to the Lord we need to have every fiber of our being open to the Lord so that he can come and fill us saturate us permeate us and just take over every corner every recess of our being and every corner and recess of our lives to just totally overflow in our lives so that we can be filled we can be filled with Him, be filled with life, be filled with goodness, be filled with wisdom, be filled with all the things that God wants to put into us and enrich us with. And, and let's not just think of material things here. We've got to think above and beyond that to the more precious things God has uh, in store for us that, that He can give us if we'll just turn to Him. So that's our encouragement today. Let's turn our faces to the Lord and not just turn them to Him and then turn back away again, but keep our eyes fixed on Him. Keep our faces turned to Him. To seek His face continually. And then to open up our hearts to Him. Open up our hearts in prayer. Even while we're reading these Psalms today, open up our, our spirit 
uh, to receive the message of these words and maybe even pray these words to the Lord um, as we come across them and, and just invite the Lord in. Invite the Lord into the room where you're at right now if you're in a room or in the place where you are. Invite Him in to sit with you and to be with you and to feel you and to nourish you. So these are just some things to think about today. Uh, thank you guys for listening in. I love you guys. God bless.